Hi, I'm Chris Savage, graphic designer with Model Aviation Magazine. Today, I'm going to show you how to get your model airplane ready to fly with your very own pre-flight checklist. The goal is to make sure your flight is safe and enjoyable. First and foremost, consider the weather conditions at your flying site. As you're already well aware, most model airplanes only weigh a few pounds. If you take a small airplane and fly it into a strong wind gust, the results probably aren't going to be what you expect. Once you get to the flying site, take into consideration the position of the sun. With the sun in your eyes, it's going to be difficult to locate your airplane in the sky, so bring a pair of sunglasses just in case. Consider the field that you want to fly at. An area like your backyard may not provide enough space. Remember that your airplane needs plenty of room to take off, fly around, and land safely. Avoid areas with trees, buildings, and especially other people. Now let's take a look at the airplane itself. Make sure your battery is charged and in good shape. The same goes for the batteries in your transmitter. Before plugging in your battery, ensure your transmitter is in the on position and your throttle stick is fully in the off position. To help with this, when you hold your transmitter, keep your thumb above the transmitter stick, that way you can never accidentally bump it. With our transmitter turned on and our battery plugged in, now's the time to take a look at our aircraft and make sure everything is secure and operating the way that we expect. In this case, that includes the wing, the tail, our servo extensions, and our battery hatch. We're also going to take a look at our control surfaces and make sure that they respond to the transmitter in the way that we expect. Another important point to consider is the model's center of gravity, or CG. On many airplanes, the center of gravity is just behind the cockpit. In our example, we're going to take our fingers and grasp the model on the sides of the fuselage directly underneath the wings and lift at the center of gravity. The model should stay balanced on our fingers. We're almost done. We're going to check our flight surfaces one more time, and then we're going to taxi a little bit just to make sure the airplane responds the way that we expect. If everything goes well, we'll be ready to fly. For a more comprehensive checklist, visit theparkpilot.org, the home for all of your model aviation needs. From the Academy of Model Aeronautics, I'm Chris Savage. Have a happy and safe flight. <laughs>